Hello, Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah, and I, right? Remember last lesson on Friday, we talked about a kind of thing, right? When the person is born age one, he blows one kind, age two blows two kind, three kind, etc. And then we're given the total number of candles. We want to figure out the first year, right? So there are three methods. The first one is proof of. Basically, we accumulate. This S is the number of candles. If it starts to blow the candles from age one, and T is the given number of years, number of candles. So every every year, the number of candles he needs to blow, he, he or she needs to blow increment one. And then we accumulate the number of candles he or she has blown Blue. Blue so far. Okay, And if it's bigger than a target, or if it's equal than a target, we break the loop. And then we check if it's equal. Right? If S equals to T, if s equals to t after the loop, then we return the year, which is the i. Otherwise, we we'll return minus one. And the second method, we use binary search. We use the binary search. This function, the s axis is the number of years, the age year, right? n. The y axis is f n, which is the sum. This function, well, this is the sum function. Sum function, sum one to n. So it's monotonal increasing, right? It's, it's something like that, right? It's actually n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Right? We figure out that, right? The sum of the first n natural numbers is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So it's monotonal increasing. So we can binary search. Okay, we can binary search. So the left and right boundary, right? The left boundary is 1, the right boundary is n, the target. And every time we try in the middle, if the sum is less than the target, it's on the second half. If the sum is bigger than the target, it's on the first half. So if S is smaller than target, then we need to move to the second half. Otherwise, it's on the first half. So the advantage of using binary search is that every time we can abandon half of the search space. So this gives us log n log t time complexity okay and the third approach because we already know the sum function so basically we need to solve this equation and then we, we know how to solve how to find two roots of the of any quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c equals equals zero okay so this is the previous lesson so i also mentioned instead of blowing two candles on h2 he or she blows one candle. So, for example, like you are age 11, Eric. So you blow two candles, right? Why two? It doesn't make any sense if he blows two when he's 11. 11? On the okay. cake, you can't put 11 candles, you put one one, right? This is the number of digits, right? You, you, they're, they're yeah, but it doesn't make sense just to put two. It's not much. That, that's right, okay, so two candles, right? Because it's more, um, what do you call it, eggnog, eh? because uh, you only need two. Yeah, need two candles. Okay, so do you get it? Like, number of digits. If you like 50, you need 50 candles. Yeah. No, if 50, you'll be like two candles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, okay. Can't you just put, can't you just get the number of candles and then put one of the five and then one of the zero? Yeah, but that's still two candles. Yeah, two candles, yes. Okay. Yeah, but if it's just two regular candles, it doesn't make really any sense. He didn't say if it was regular candles. Yeah, it's not the same candles. So, okay, for example, like, candles. for example, like, for example, Eric, right? No, yeah, that's not a regular candle. That's a shape of a one. <laughs> one one. Okay, yeah, so I, one one. How many candles regular. have you brewed no, so far? Here eleven. Eric, Eric. Yeah, that's a one. It's a line. Now it's you're just regular. regular. Now you're just making. Okay, so how many candles have you blown so far? If you blow one candle on age one, three candles on age one, how many candles, you know, if you, you are 11, right? So how many candles? Uh, 13. 13, how do you get this number? Because uh, you just need to have 11 because... Uh, 11 and 10. And plus 2 because I... Uh, yeah, yeah, 10, blown, 10 and 11. I blew, I blew uh, two, uh, two candles on the cake twice. 1 times 9 plus... 2 times 2, right? No, that's not what I did. You, you want to say, I said, so yeah. I do 1 times 11, and since I blew... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So 1 times 11 plus 2 times 1, right? Eh? 
Okay. My way is that this is the one digit. This is two digit. You blew two times of two digit. 10, 11. Okay. Okay. So think about that. So if we want to, you know, if we want to solve this problem, so which kind of method can we use? Which of these three methods we can use? Just with slight modification. Which method? The first one, can we use the first one? Proof of false, yeah? Okay. Look, i plus equal one because on the next number, right? Having one more birthday, you will need to brew one more candle, but this is Blow. not true. Blow! Blow one more candle, but this Blow. is not true. Okay? Blow! Okay. Instead of i plus equal one, we need to make it like i equals, let's say, a function like candles. Okay? Number of candles. So let's say this is a g function, g, uh, the candles. This actually this is all right. I plus equal one, and s plus equal i. This needs to be changed to g i function, right? G i function i, g i function returns the number of candles for that first year, for that year i, right? In the previous example, g i will return i, right? Return i because on the year i you blow, blow i candles, right? Now we need to change it to a function. And the second method, binary search. Again, instead of getting the candles here, we need to iterate over, we need to iterate, s is equal to the middle one, right? Instead of this function, we need to iterate from one to the middle, and then s plus equal gi, right? gi, so this gi function. The third method, it's hard, it's not easy to get the direct mass equation between the year so actually it's not easy to find find an equation we, we actually want to find out that uh, given this i here so the g function right so we want to find out i equals one tier n g i so we, we basically want to find out this function right so this is the function representing the total number of candles that he or she brewed has blown. Blue. Okay. Yeah, blue. Not blue. blue. Up to blue. year end. Okay, 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 come on. Blue. But GI, in the first case, GI define GI would just return blue. I, right? This is the first problem. Actually, on the year 7, you blew 7 candles. On year 100, you blew 100 years. That's the first problem. But now, we need to change this. On the year 7, we blew 1. Blow. Blows blue. one and I mean, okay, okay, come I mean, on, blue. tell me when to use blow, when you to use blue, okay? When you, you don't use, you don't use blue, you okay. just use blue and you don't use blow, you use blue and blow if it's blue. Okay, can I just use blows forever? No. Okay, so he blows, okay, he blows eyes candle, okay, on the ears eye. But now we need to change this function because uh, we, need, we need to change this function to return the number of digits. So basically, how many candles you need to blow for integer i? Like 1, 2, 3, 4. How many candles? You need 4. 4, yeah, the number of digits, right? Basically. For the year, I mean, um, for, I mean, for the year. But oh, oh, yeah, I thought you meant for like 1, 2, 1, 2. Three. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this gi function just returns the number of the candles for the number of digits right this is the number of digits but if we define another function like total big g then for i in range range one tier i plus one and s plus equal g i right and return s or we can uh, use the sum function return sum g i for i in range one tier n to your i inclusive, to your n, okay, to your n, uh, this is the n, okay, to your n inclusive. Okay, so this return the length, so how can we return the length? One simple way is just to convert it to a string and get the length, right? So look, gi, we can do this, return the length, stri, right? This is one way, just converting the integer to, to a string and get the length, right? Another way is that we can use the log function, log 10 i and floor function plus one okay you know this is floor do you still remember mm -hmm. the the, integer, the integer part floor it rounds to the bottom yeah 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 and that, that's ceiling right that's ceiling and right? it rounds to the top floor ceiling. okay so for example like one two three four four digit right so mm -hmm. log 10 one two three four 
four digit. How do we get the four digit? Ten to the power of three. Ten to the power of three is what? What's the ten to the power of three? Thousand, right? Yeah, a thousand. This number one two three four. Log ten is between ten to the power of three to ten to the power of four. It's three point something. And then you do the ceiling is three. Three plus one, four digit. Okay, four digit. Let's uh, take another look at uh, one example. A hundred, how many digit? Log to the power of a hundred. Log ten. Ten to the power of two equals a hundred. So this thing equals two. Two plus one, three digit. Okay? So this is the formula to get the number of the digit for integer i. Does it make sense? So we can implement like that. G i. Another version, right? So return. The integer power, we can just use the int function to uh, convert it. Log 10, so mass dot log. <coughs> import the mass. From mass, import log, okay? Mass dot log 10, i, and plus 1. Or we can use the mass dot floor function. Okay, so we solve this problem. Now, this g function, there are two implementations to get the number of digits. gi returns the number of digits for the integer i, and we can have two ways. One is to convert it to a string. <coughs> The other way is using the log 10 uh, uh, i floor plus 1. Okay, so the, now the problem is this s function with the big g, right? We need to accumulate. This is one way, right? But this is slow, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to check 1, how many digit? 2, how many digit? 3, how many digit? 4, how many digit? Up to uh, 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 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to take uh, time, right? Do we have a clever way? There's like 9 over 1 digits, 90 over... Yes, yes, perfect. Yes, we don't have to count, right? So for example, one, two, three, four. So like one digit is one to nine. This is nine digit. Ten to ninety-nine. How many digit? Ninety. Ninety. Okay. A hundred to ninety-nine. Nine hundred ninety-nine. How many digit? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Okay. Now a thousand to nine nine nine. How many digit? However, this number is between that, right? So we, we just yeah. have to accumulate the previous one and then the remaining part is 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 1,000 so that's 234 plus 1 There are 235 here So the number of digits is 999 plus 235, right? Because, no, uh, because, because here it's 90 times 2, 900 times 3 Oh yeah, 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 you're right, yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, great, wait, this is, yeah, I forgot this, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, and this one, okay, very smart, okay, I didn't notice that, very smart, okay, thank you. I didn't understand, I wasn't listening to what Eric said, and I, because I... Eric, you want to quickly explain to Ryan? Oh, that's about how that, why we did it that in, I don't know. Yeah. Two, three, four, four. Okay. Right? Be Digital. Yeah. Because the problem now we need to find out how many digits, how many candles so far if it's one, two, three, four. So you need to check, accumulate that. One, how many digits? Two, of, how many digits? Isn't the so point of this to find them on because you need to find out the digits so you can But I think like this whole lesson is just on digits Yeah, yeah, we want to find out the sum of the digits between 1 to n That's because digits are the only thing that you listen to mm. Okay, so yeah, you're right So we can find out this easily, right? The last part, we just have to add it separately Because like 1, 2, 3, 4, this is from 1000 to 1, 2, 3, 4 How many numbers is 1, 2, 3, 4 minus a thousand plus one numbers times four digit okay so then we can implement this define g n so the length the, the length we need to find out which is big n equals the g g n right g n this is the function to return the number of the digit s equals zero for d in range start from one digit to to the n digit minus one right n digit minus one then then this is complete digit right s plus equals how many digit d times how many numbers of that 10 to the power of d minus 10 to the power of d minus one right 
For example, like from one to nine, this is nine digit, nine times of one digit. From ten to ninety nine, this is ninety of two digit, right? So we want to find out how many this one. This number is basically the next power, ten to the power of two minus ten to the power of one, right? This is ten to the power of one minus ten to the power of zero. Nine hundred is 10 to the power of 3 minus 10 to the power of 2, right? 1000 minus 100 is 900, right? Okay, this is what it is. And the last one, which is s plus equals the n digit, uh, n digit times 10 to the power of 10 to the power of n minus 10 to the power of n minus 1. We need to plus 1 here, and then we turn s. So th this one is more efficient, right? We can use this g function in the first algorithm, which is brute force. This g function can be used on the second method, which is binary search, because we need a g function to to uh, compute the total number of digits from one to n inclusive. And the lowercase g function, it just returns the number of digits for the integer i. The uppercase g function returns the sum of all the digits, all the digits between one to n inclusive. And this is obviously more efficient because here, here we are not iterating from number one to n, right? We just count how many digits. For example, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We just count, okay? How many digits? The sum of all the digits, one digit, which is one to nine. The sum of two digits is 10 to 99. The sum of three digits, which is 100 to 999. The sum of four digits, this, this part is the sum of four digits because it's not covering the whole range of the four digits. Then we need to compute how many numbers, which is four digits, right? How many number which is four digits is one, two, three, four minus a thousand plus one and times four, okay? Times four digits. This is times how many digits, okay? Yeah. If I'm correct, I think my implementation is all, all right, okay? So, what is not? <coughs> Then I'll correct it later, okay? But so do you understand, Eric? Do you understand? Yeah? So which one is better? The last one. Yeah, this one is better, right? Obviously, right? Otherwise, otherwise, uh, to, to give you an example of how to write another G without the least optimization, it's just like that. Define the G function S equals zero for I in range 1 to N plus 1, N inclusive, S plus equals G I and return s, right? This is proof force, iterating from number 1 to n, and then uh, accumulating the number of the digit for the number i, okay? You see? Comparison, okay? At least we can rewrite using sum function, return sum gi for i in range 1 n, okay? Sum function, return sum gi for i in range 1 n plus 1, okay? Range function, the second uh, parameter is exclusive, so it's reaching n only, inclusive n, okay? If the person has proven, blue, blue like, uh, one candle, blue, blue like uh, 99 candles, so how, which year is it? I blow 99 candles. This is nine okay it's hard right okay let me let me let me change it nine nine times one okay what okay we get 99 okay how many candles 10 to nine, nine two that's two digits right here would be 45 right 45 we need a 45 45 times two plus nine is 99 45 after 10 so which is 54. 45 after 10, 54. Yes, well done, 54. So he, he, he or she is 54. When, when you are 54, so you will blow all together 99 candles because from one to nine, nine candles. From 10 to 54, that's 45 numbers. 45 numbers times two is 90. 90 plus nine is 99. That's it for today, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.